Grbeagly! Hey there guys and gals, it's Grbeagly with another episode of Gaming with Grbeagly, and I'm once again playing the game Lily, Child of Geos, and I know that it's been a while since I picked this up, I'm sorry, it's been like a little bit over a week, uh, but I unfortunately was very, very distracted by other games um, like Honey Pop and Corpse Party where things were getting a little bit crazier on their end, so I really want to to progress those games, but this game is still a ton of freaking fun. Last episode, we learned how to wrestle with some spurts, and uh, it was a lot of fun. I mean, like, check out this guy. Let's go beat him up real quick. Our next objective is to jump on his back and steal all of his flowers. Uh, but it adds, like, a really cool gameplay element to uh, be able to do these types of things. Oh, God. Okay, I forgot that it, go it throws you in it right away. So we determined before that these... Ow! I grabbed a thorn. Uh, the, the white flowers are the ones that progress the game. Or progress that. Whoa! Bomb Frenzy. Oh, shit! I forgot about these. Uh, bomb Frenzies, by the way, these will knock you off if those bombs explode on you. Um, but the, the yellow flowers, like, keep your multiplier up, and the white flowers are actually what progress the spirit fight. So, once I get five white flowers, then I can pick up a, a red flower and beat the spirit up. Yeah! That was quick. You think that felt good? No! No, it did not! Just so you know! Ah, oh, that guy's a funky-looking dude. That guy wasn't Douglas, was it? No, Hawthorne. Holy crap. Whoa, we got like the max stars or star flowers, whatever the hell these things are. I, I've never done that before, so I'm very, very happy about that. And we earned a mask. I don't know whatever that means. I guess we can wear a mask maybe, or it shows that we like conquered a spirit all the way. All right, age close enough. Fun fact, very suspicious. Turns out wearing skates to the beach was just as bad of an idea as not wearing sunscreen. Epic sunburn matches epic skates. He didn't have skates on when we were fighting him. Whatever. Whatever. All right, so we got a red flower, which is good. Hey there, what's up, drug dealer? Oh. Oh, what's going on? Oh, hello. Ho, oh, visitor, I'm Melbot. I have a message for you here. Black. Oh, my God, he barfed mail out on me. <laughs> I love this game. It's so charming, but it's like there's this undertone of, like, more adult humor, like I was talking about in the first episode of this that just... It's fun. It's really, really fun. I guess if barfing out mail is an adult joke, it's not really an adult joke, but, you know, it's more mature undertone somewhere in there. Whatever. I don't know. Listen to me. I'm the guy talking to you on the internet, so obviously I know what I'm I'm talking about here. Anyway. Ew, I just take the letter from your mouth? <laughs> that was my reaction, too, Lily. Fair enough. Go ahead. Ah. Oh, God. Oh, cool. A message from Professor Pettigrew. Greetings, Lily. Congratulations on reaching Geos and beginning your quest to collect veggie magical samples. It's very prestigious. I'm writing specifically to remind you to log what you find in your journal. Your final grade will depend on that knowledge. Best of luck. I look forward to your thesis. Sincerely, Professor Pettigrew. Oh, thesis. So she's actually... She's actually a college student. She's not a... See, I thought she was like a high schooler or younger, possibly, but she's a college girl. Aw, oh, yeah. Oh, that was nice of him. Thanks, um, mailbox man. Absolutely. See ya. All right, I think I just totally changed his voice, but, you know, it happens. So if she's a college girl, then... Whoa, bam, she... Oh, that booty. All right, anyway. So, hit escape. Uh, we have to go visit Trainer is our, our current quest. Um, but what did we want to look at in here? Something about the journal. Whatever. It doesn't look like it's something that I need to do right now. Uh, so we'll continue on our merry way. And we will go talk to Trainer. Who I, I keep forgetting is not over here to the right. He's over here to the left. But uh, Trainer should have our next quest. I like this game. It's so quirky and charming. It really, really is. It has a lot of like character to it. And that that matters a lot to me. If you guys, you know, have been watching the channel for a while, I love that. Like the game, one of you pointed out that the game like stutters a little bit every time you open a door, and I think that's just because it doesn't like render the textures inside whatever uh, house you're going into. It's really interesting. Oh, hello, Trainer. You freaking weirdo. All right. Well, he's doing that quick. Let's actually check what the hell the the mask is. What what was the mask? Does, does it? It doesn't do that like that. Hmm. Masco, Masco. Where are you? I just want to find out what it does. I want to see what it does. Ah, whatever. We'll figure it out later. I return. And was I right? Are the spirits' blooms not beautiful and strange? You were so right, trainer. That last spirit bloomed a sassafras spirit orchid. 
With that butt alone, the professor's eyes would explode. He'd be so proud. I don't know if he would be proud if his eyes exploded. I think he would actually be dead. Um, but anyway, <laughs> I share your joy, although that is just the tip of the tree limb. As I hoped, the Douglas spirit held the key to the village quarter, Splitwood. You should go there next. Also, continue to question why a spirit around other ones named Sassafras and Hawthorne is named Douglas of all things. What the hell were his parents thinking? Sweet! I look forward to filling out my collection. Be warned, little tiger. The spirits of the island of Geos will get tougher as you progress. But so will we. How about another training session before you go? Oh, sweet! I get to upgrade again. So does it like... I, I feel like the more quests you complete, the more you can level up. But there's not really like an XP system in the game. I could be completely wrong, and maybe it's just because it's these first few like tutorial style levels. But uh, let's see what else. We got stealth. I don't really need stealth because I've just been like jumping on the dudes. Um, speed. I don't know. Jack Septic guy always tells me speed is key, but I don't know if I need to get speed. I feel like grip is the most important thing when fighting these dudes. So let's go ahead and level that up. You honor me with your attentiveness. Now, let's get you into Splitwood Village. Track down five spirits and return here for further training. In Splitwood Village, there are many ways to acquire red flowers. Try speaking to some of the constructs for tasks they might need accomplished. Before you run off, swing by shopping tins and pick up some equipment. You're going to need items to defeat some spirits. I already have tons of items. I really don't need to do that. When you leave my hut, turn left. Shopping tins blue hut is right there. Turn left. Got it. Thanks so much. See you when I return from the village. Aw, thanks, trainer. Visit Oh, it's it's the actual quest. Alright. And we determined last episode that those birds, when I scare them away, they poop out like rainbow poop. <laughs> Which is just fantastic. I mean, like, let's check this out. Did they do it? They didn't do it that time. I'm upset. I wanted some poopies. Whatever. Alright, whatever. I don't even care. Oh, God. It's, it's seriously, like, I mean, all the little details in this game are... I'm, I'm not looking at her butt this time, although, or, or am I? But, um, I, all the little details in this game are just really charming and give it just so much character and depth. Welcome back, fine girl. Do you have some business to conduct? Mr. Shoppington, sir, trainer sent me. I'm on a mission to Splitwood. Great squirrel, that's a bold plan. You'll be in need of items and important instructions. Speed sandwiches. Here, take two. They boost your run for a while. Spirits won't be able to shake you. Invisage juice. Partake. You'll be able to walk right up to one of those little devils. Give them the old what for. Flash bombs are useful while on the back of those beasts. Set one off and all the bad objects disappear. All these items are in your pouch. Open your pouch to use them. Speed sandwiches, invisage juice, and flash bombs. Excellent. And in my shop, there's plenty of other gadgets and contraptions. All right, cool. Oh, cool. Can I, like, level this up? Is that why there's the... There's, like, a level bar to items. I had no idea. That's really cool. So I can actually, like, level up stuff in this. That's very, very awesome. I had no idea that I'd be able to do such things. Um, I don't know what the shoes do. These boots will make you run kind of fast. Spirits will have an even harder time noticing you for reals. You're going to scare the cheese out of them. Or a grip bracelet. This bracelet grants your grip for hanging on to spirits. They use soul magnets or something. Alright, so the skeleton key is going to open all doors in the game, much like, uh, you know, most skeleton keys in, in games do. Oh yeah, I can sell all my white flowers. Let's do that. Is there a way to do it with everything? Instead of, can I, instead of, I gotta tap it a million times, apparently. That's okay, that's okay. I don't, I don't care. Whatever. I don't need new outfits or anything like that. Um... But, uh, the, yeah, I do want to get the skeleton key because that will allow us to open every single door that's in the world and then not have to find keys, I'm assuming, which would be great. Anyway. Thanks, Shoppington. I'm glad the mayor allows you to sell items for defeating spirits. Me too. Take it to, uh, take it to him. Splitwood is open now. Pay attention now. I'm listening. Shoot. When you leave my store, walk straight. Got it? Well, not straight straight. You'll fall off a ledge. <laughs> Bear right a bit, then walk straight ahead all the way to Splitwood. Off you go! Alright, we've seen Splitwood a thousand times, so let's go ahead and retrieve those five red flowers from it. Oh man, 
I really like this game a lot. I know it's not going to be the most popular series on the channel. I've already come to terms with that, but that's not why I play games. I always play games to have fun, and honestly, this game is fun. It's just really, really charming, and it's got so much... Like I keep saying, it's got so much freaking character to it. Like, it's impossible not to smile when I'm playing it. Like, I... Man, I love this. Anyway, first let's go exploring before we visit Splitwood. Oh, okay. That was a very short exploration. Um, <laughs> uh, hello, business time man, who's always late to things. Is there anything over here? Actually, according to the map, that just leads us back to where we've gone before. So let's go ahead and enter Splitwood after all. Ah, see, there's like this locked door here. We would be able to open it if we had the skeleton key or a small key. But uh, we don't have any of those things, so that's why I want to get that skeleton key right away. Whoa, that door totally glitched out there. That was fun. Let's kick these pots quick, get some monies. Yes, money, and whatever that that was. It looks like an Invisi juice. Sounds very dangerous. Now, they, they construct these things. Uh, are these meant for human construct or consumption? I feel like they were meant for the constructs themselves, so, like, I don't know if they're, they got the same innards as we do. I mean, they did have toilets, so it means that they, they, they do poop at some point, but I don't know. I don't know. Who am I to judge? All right, so we're breaking all the pots real quick here. Breaking all the vases in the village. <laughs> Number one badass. All right, so lemonade keys. Lemonade keys? What? Or just keys? Is it just sell keys? Looks like it's closed, but maybe this place will have something to tell me about it. Hello. Oh, that's a lovely oven. Lovely, lovely little combo you got going there. All right, there's nothing in here. I can't even break a pot in here. Dang. What a terrible house. All right, let's continue on our merry way then. See a little bit of lag in the game. Oh! <laughs> ah, it's very interesting. It's My system can definitely run this game, but it's it's like the game itself, since it came from the, uh, the touch screen, the iPhone, I feel like it's not 100% optimized. Uh, I did go back and I watched a couple other people's videos where they had the same problem where every time you open a door, it just sort of like stutters a little bit. But that's okay. It's still beautiful. I mean, it's gorgeous to look at. Like, this game, like I was just saying a moment ago, has great attention to detail. Um, Night already? Geos is really strange. I wonder if the mayor has something to do with this. I don't know. That mayor, he, now the mayor has a mask, so very obviously the mayor is a spirit as well. Uh, and I have a feeling we have to uncover that at some point. Ah, flower. Yes. And uh, that's going to be like the big Scooby-Doo mystery. We get to unmask the mayor and find out who he was all along. Like, maybe he's a construct pretending to be a spirit, pretending to be a construct. That would be constructception. But, I, I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. Aha, more flowers for my flower collection. They're not the right color, but we're not discriminatory here with our flowers. Hello? Oh! Good God, what the hell? I know I need a small key game, but why, who, why, buddy, why, what, <gasps> throwing bombs at me again, you jerky jerk. I don't even have time to, like, uh, explore this before I'm, like, getting harassed by spirits. That's fine, that's fine, we're, we're gonna get this guy right away. See, we don't really need, oh, God, don't, don't stop to pick the damn lilies, Lily. <laughs> lilies, Lily. No, I just, uh, jump on his back. We don't need the speed, because we just jumped on him from there. Oh, ah, ah, uh, it's so hard to, like, Get the ones that are behind the thorns because the freaking thorns they get in the way and they stab you in the hands and it, it hurts man it really hurts what was that thing i didn't know what that was that there's a different type of flower on the back of this thing ah ah so hard to grab ah, no let me grab it oh my streak was broken but that's okay that is fine because we still got the red flower just yeah. like this whole game is uh you know at this point going to be running around beating up spirits are you a bee was i just pollinated oh god dude getting kind of Kind of funky fresh there. Well, boom! Only hemlock only gave me one star flower. What a jerk ass! All right, he's a male. He's 35. Damn, he's old. Uh, Hornbeam son. Very shy. At least he didn't lose his note. A sweet soaked note clutched in his hand that reads, "Do you like me?" Aw, so he's like, he's adorable. He's just looking for friends. He doesn't know what pollination even is. He's that innocent. <laughs> well, my first flower in Splitwood. You damn straight, girl. We're going to find them all together. All right. Let's see here. So there's tons of flowers. There's tons of people to meet, too. I don't know if I'm going to be able to meet them all. I do like that um, the spirits show up on my radar. So I'm always able to find those uh, those little red dots in the bottom right mini-map there. There you are, sir. Oh, wow. That was actually an adept bomb throw. Oh, damn it. I went the wrong way. Oh, come back here, you son of a bee sting. Oh, what's that? 
Wanted Creepy Pete. Oh, God, he is creepy. He's like a... For being too awesome, <laughs> too tough. Oh, man. So he's like a, a pirate, I'm assuming? Uh, he's like a pirate spirit. Whatever. I, I don't understand how Geos works. This guy's still throwing bombs at me? I'm, dude, I'm nowhere near you. Worst bomb throw 2015. All right, let's track him down. Beat him up. Get his flower. Hello, sir. Um, Aha! There you are. Go back here. Maybe I will buy some speed shoes. That will really, really, really speed up the uh, the speed. <laughs> it will speed up the speed. Speed up the speed of these fights. That was actually right freaking next to me. Holy crap, this guy... This guy's not messing around. Ha! Too bad. He's He had to come face to face with me. Lily, the flower-grabbing kid from Collegeville, USA. Wherever the hell that is. What the hell is that? Oh, it's a gold flower. It gives me gold. That's so awesome. Uh, ah! Oh, dude, are you stuck? Is he stuck? Looks like he's stuck on something. That's fine. I made it a lot easier. Kaboom! Yeah! Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's what I said, Lily. She went, yeah! Ew, she touched me! Wipe it off! Oh, so he's like a germaphobe. Still only one freaking star flower. What the heck, guys? Aspen, I gotta get good. It's a female. Oh, it's a female. I gotta see, it's rude for me to assume that they're all men. Age, refuse to answer. Wait, 24 pounds underweight trying to be cuter than Sassafras. <laughs> Was an extra in a movie once, and fame went to her head. Now she just hopes no one remembers her dated hairstyle. <laughs> I like all the spirits' personalities. They're fun. Oh, hi there, mailbox man again. Flying out from space. I guess you do have wings. Hello again. Do you have a message? Blah. Oh, God. You can't just, like, hand it to me, all right? Uh, <laughs> trainer here. Hello, Lily. As you progress, you will find spirits getting more and more challenging. Remember, using items may be the ticket for defeating them. I haven't had to use an item yet, trainer. I'm way too freaking good. I'm like the one. I'm like Neo from the Matrix of getting red flowers. <laughs> you can always afford more if you collect flowers and take them to Shoppington. I wish you luck with the remaining spirits in Splitwood Village. Until next time, sincerely, trainer. Use items to defeat tougher enemies. Got it. Thanks again, Mr. Mailbox Man. Now, it does really kind of hold your hand in the beginning. I mean, it is a game that's meant for all ages, so it's going to have these really sort of cumbersome tutorials in the beginning, but but I enjoy it. Oh, God. It was my pleasure. I give him a different voice every goddamn time. I need to just <laughs> stick to one. <laughs> all right. Pro tip. Enemies show up on your map. Well, thank you, game. The, the thing that I remembered. Hi, Planky Man. Arcade game trivia? I love arcades. Too bad there, are, there is very few left in the world. The president has been kidnapped by ninjas. Are you bad enough to you to rescue the president? Easy. That quote is from... Oh, it's got like retro classic game trivia in this. That's from um, Fatal Fury, I think? Or Streets of Rage or one of those ones. <laughs> bad dudes. I rescued the president and we went and ate burgers to celebrate. Oh, it's bad dudes. Okay. <laughs> I was totally wrong. Lily showed me up. Freaking Lily. Making me look bad in front of my audience. You really do know your stuff. Thanks for talking to me. Sometimes I get lonely being the only gamer around here. I bet you do too. Here's a friend to help you out in dark times. Oh, what the hell? Nobby. You received the pet. Is that, this is supposed to be like Navi? Like Navi from uh, Zelda? So I guess I should be talking to more of the townspeople because it looks like they're like going to give me stuff that's super fun. I guess we can, I guess we can meet more people. This is a circus. Oh, cool. Let's find out what's at the circus. Howdy, friend! Magic awaits! Magic and mystery! Ooh! Oh, you're like a gambling construct. Oh, I'm so much more than that. Call me my. Oh, sorry, guys, I got the burpees here. Ooh. Call me Monty. I'm a wonder of nature, your ticket to adventure. Explain? I have a single ball in one of my magic cups. I wave them around, and you guess which one it ends up in. But it's totally mystical and amazing, rest assured. That's all the rules? I just guessed which cup it's in? Basically, but here's very important information you should know. Every time my cups bump together, the ball transfers to the other cup through magic. Watch the ball. If cups bump together, they swap. I pick the cup with the ball in it. Oh, that's that's a nice twist on the regular ball swap ga game. We game gag ga 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 I can totally talk, I swear, guys. <laughs> Let's do it. Rather forward of you, Lily. Oh, okay. Oh. That's not a very good deal, because don't the flowers only sell for like 100 or something like that? So if I pay 300 for two, I don't remember the exchange rate. Right, whatever, let's just try the one. I don't have a lot of money. Follow the ball. Okay. 
All right, it's at the top. Still at the top, I can see that, all right? And it's over to the right now. It's over to the left top, and it's, it's here, it's here. Yeah, I did it, I'm so smart. I knew where it was. Thank you for all the gambling fun. Yeah, bye, bye I don't, I don't need, bye. So wait, I just got my money back? Is that, oh, you pay flowers to get the money. I get it, I'm a dumb, dumb idiot face. So you can actually, theoretically get like way more money than you would by just selling flowers to Shoppington. So that's kind of cool. I like that they added that in the game. Stella, simply Stella, my small but dense friend. Dense? <laughs> Inscrutably. Here, have this flower as a token of our friendship. <gasps> oh, cool. I had no idea how I had to do that and I got a red flower from it. That's cool. I wonder if there's like, it feels like there's multiple ways to get flowers in this. This looks like it will probably be our last boss fight. Uh, before the end, or spirit fight before the end of this episode, but oh god damn it, I grabbed the damn freaking spiky thing, that hurt. Um, but, ugh, ugh, I'm, I gotta win, I gotta win. But, yeah, it, we made a lot of progress in this game. We unlocked Splitwood, which is really, really cool. Yep. Yeah! Go you, Lily. You're the freaking flower picking master. I hope my flowers crumble in your sad little fist, you botanist filth. <laughs> awesome. Oh, damn, two! I, I have no idea still, like, what that matters on. Is it based on how much grip I have left, or, or what's the deal? But we already have four freaking flowers from this area. That's that's good progress. All right, Hornbeam, 35. Rather not find out what his weight. Fun fact, only have to ask him twice. Hemlock's brother, recently diagnosed with high blood pressure, low iron, and possibly root worm. This is why you don't go to the doctors. <laughs> Actually, that's why you do go to the doctors. You gotta get that stuff figured out or you're gonna die. <laughs> Woo, only one more red flower from Splitwood to grab. Yeah, Lily. So we made like a lot of progress this episode, and I had a lot of fun. I don't know about you guys, but I always have a blast. It's an absolute joy to play this game. Just so charming and so fun, and ah, I, I like it. I'm, I'm really, really like soaked in to this world at this point. Like I'm very, very invested. I want to find out what's going on now. That the plot doesn't move around, uh, move forward at the fastest pace possible, but. It's just pleasant. It really is just pleasant to play. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this episode, please be sure to hit the like button, share the video, and favorite it. Also, be sure to subscribe to me if you guys haven't already. For those of you who have, thank you so much for all of your support. You guys are the best in the world. I love every single one of you. And as always, it was great seeing you. Bye-bye. I taste like shit. <laughs> now they won't eat me. Now they won't eat me because they know I taste like shit. <laughs> I say I have a fetish for that kind of thing. Ooh, delicious. Not the oh, shit. Yeah. Someone else that I ate. Oh. <laughs> I was going to say. It's going to get really weird in here in a moment.